Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your general energy reading. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. If you are new here, hello. My name is Eric. It is wonderful to meet you. And if you are returning, what is up, guys? All right, yo. So, yo. <laughs> all right, Gemini. General energy reading for you for my Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is also a timeless reading. There are no dates associated with this reading. So whenever you are guided to watch it and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where you will find a list of the readings that I offer in as, long, uh, as well as my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I will get you all hooked up. Uh, follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. The links to that can be found in the description box below as well. And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Oops. All right, Gemini. I'm going to give this one more shuffle for you. And we will see what the message is for you at this time. Yeah, here we go. For my Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. What's going on for Gemini at this time? First card you have, Gemini, is the Four of Wands reversed. Okay. Uh, immediately, I'm thinking of family. Um, I'm hearing this is not a happy home. This is not a happy... This is not a safe situation that you find yourself in at this time, Gemini. Two more cards here. Ooh, good. Okay, the Ten of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles. All right. Ultimately, that is a good thing. Overall energy is the Five of Pentacles. All right. Um, I will say this, though, Gemini. Whatever situation you find yourself in at this time, it has not been stable. It has not been healthy. It has not been safe. Uh, this four, that's what I'm getting with the four of wands in reverse. However, it seems to have come to an end. You have the 10 of swords and the 10 of pentacles. Okay. And to me, you know, the 10 of swords is a time is the end of a really rough situation. At this point, the worst is behind you. 10 of pentacles is the completion of a life circumstance. Um, it could also be family. It could be a career. Um, uh, oftentimes when the 10 of pentacles comes out and it represents a, a completion or an ending, I read that as it's an ending of a life circumstance, a situation. Um, yeah, the best way for me to say it is a life circumstance. You do have this five of pentacles as the overall energy. And I'm reading the five of pentacles as an energy that got you into this situation to begin with. And I feel like what is, what is happening here for you, Gemini, is with this Ten of Pentacles or this life circumstance completed, also with this rough situation completed, Ten of Swords, I feel like you've learned a very valuable lesson about, um, well, first thing I'm hearing with this Five of Pentacles is honoring yourself or valuing yourself. There is a level of um, picking yourself up off the floor and gaining your power back, gain, gaining your strength, doing for yourself. Very interesting. Uh, bear with me for a second. I'm just trying to uh, channel some more of this message. It, uh, okay, for lack of a better term, and I don't mean to offend anybody here, but this is the message that's coming through, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to say it. Um, with this five of pentacles energy, there is an, a level of releasing or re letting go of some sort of pity party energy. Um, and I, I, I want to I wanna tread lightly here because what I'm feeling in this five of pentacles energy, it doesn't feel like someone who, you know, was trying to con somebody else or um, trying to get away with not keeping up their end of the bargain by, you know, claiming that they are, they aren't capable or whatnot, whatever. This feels like a legit belief about yourself in which you felt like, or you believed like you weren't adequate or you didn't think you were good enough or worthy enough or had enough skill or had the whatever. 
And that, and, and through that energy, it led you into a situation in which you thought it was a stable, loving, or, or safe or solid foundation. Four of Wands here. The Four of Wands can represent family. Um, but it led you down a path for you to realize just how strong you are. And you had to go through a lot of difficulty in this situation in order for you to come out on the other side of it, in order for you to learn this lesson. And what I'm feeling like for you now at this point, Gemini, is that you are no longer going to be holding yourself in this woe is me, I'm not capable type of energy any longer. You finally, and it may, it may seem, it may feel like it was kind of backwards or it is kind of backwards the way you have learned this lesson or the way that you've come to this conclusion. But um, some of this, some of the energies that you dealt with in this situation were so triggering or were so extreme um, that, you know, it literally shook you out of this energy of I can't do this or I'm not capable. It's like it forced you to believe in yourself. It forced you to change your perspective and do something, pull yourself out of this situation, get yourself out of this somehow. Okay. Ultimately, this is a good thing, Gemini. You learned a very valuable lesson here. All right, let's talk about the Four of Wands. Can you clarify the Four of Wands in reverse for Gemini, please, Spirit? First card you have is the Six of Swords. Excellent. Okay. Um, this is, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, Gemini, the energy of this Four of Wands in reverse here feels pretty scary. It does feel pretty scary. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't necessarily want to go into the specifics of this. Um, you would know what this is for you. I mean, you know the situation firsthand. You were in it. I'm just saying what I'm picking up on the energy of this four of wands in reverse is it's pretty terrifying. Okay. Some of you may have even felt like you were, you, you were feeling, fearing for your life here. Okay. And for that, I'm truly sorry. Um, that you had to deal with something like that. But ultimately, you are moving away from it. Six of Swords, okay? You have some sort of passage forward. Clarify the Four of Wands in reverse, please, Spirit. Now, this could actually have been... This Four of Wands in reverse actually could have been your home life. This could have been actually your... You know, the house or the family or the situation that you grew up in. That you are finally moving forward from whether this is physically speaking like you're finally moving out of that house or out of that environment or just on a mental level or an emotional level you are moving forward from this situation and why are you moving forward you have the two of cups here okay well uh, i want to say what oh no I wanted to say that some of you may have found a partner that can help you, but that's not really what I'm getting here. It, well, you have found a partner, but it's not an external partner. This Two of Cups represents you loving yourself. I mean, at its very basic, this Two of Cups represents an energy of you getting to a point where you love yourself enough or you have the strengthened, a strengthened bond between you and yourself that is helping you to move forward. That is giving you the confidence, the, 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 the confidence to move forward, the belief in yourself to move forward, the respect in yourself to move forward, the love for yourself to say, I know I deserve better and I'm going to get it for myself. Anything else for this four of wands in reverse? Yeah, two more cards. First one is the six of wands. Excellent. And finally, you have the eight of wands. That is awesome. And the seven of pentacles. See, what really, what you really needed, what you really needed in this situation, Virgo, not Virgo. Whoa. Okay. Um, I don't know where that came from. You might have a Virgo placement. You might want to watch the Virgo reading. You might have been dealing with Virgos. No, but mm, you might have a Virgo placement or I'm talking to a Virgo who's cross-watching for the energy of a Gemini, and this Gemini energy was, the, was a fairly abusive or restrictive energy. This could be a partner, a lover. It could be a family member. It could even be a roommate, okay? Take it as it resonates, guys. I don't know where that Virgo energy came from, but it's there. Maybe it's that Seven of Pentacles energy that's kind of um, 
resonating as Virgo energy. But what you needed, Gemini, in this situation was to understand what you were receiving out of this type of circumstance. Now, I, under, this, I understand, guys, that this is a general reading. This could play out in so many different ways, okay? But what I was getting in the beginning of this situation with the five of pentacles that was at the bottom of the deck was your lack of self-belief, uh, your lack of belief that you are worthy, that you are good enough, that you are capable, five of pentacles energy, is what got you in this situation to begin with or is the root reason as to why you continually found yourself in this situation, you couldn't get out of it, or you continually found yourself in situations like these. And really, the biggest thing that I'm getting here is that this is one specific circumstance that somebody entered into that was meant to be the last straw, that was meant to be the last circumstance or the last experience of the manifestation of that five of pentacles energy and that was to get you to fully understand what you were going to continue to receive out of life should you continue to align with this energy of woe is me i am not good enough i am not capable of anything and somehow some way this situation kicked your ass enough to get you to 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 come do a complete 180 out of that, to believe in yourself, to get you to love yourself. Two of cups. That is the victory that you needed. Six of wands. And now the way is clear for you. Eight of wands. What I'm also getting with this eight of wands, Gemini, is many of you have come to an understanding of what exactly it is you do want. So maybe this is a little bit of an extra bonus. Not only did you realize or start to figure out exactly what you were going to be continuing to harvest, should you continue to hold yourself in that lack mentality type of energy. Not only did you uh, did you understand what it is you were going to continue to receive out of that energy, but now you have gotten to a place where you have such a good bond with yourself, you have such a better union with yourself, two of cups, that you have an even greater understanding of exactly what it is you want, what it is you want to be manifesting, what it is you want to move forward towards. It's not like you're moving forward saying, I don't know where I'm going, but I'm getting the fuck out of here. For some of you, that is it, and that's fine. Okay, either way, the, 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 it had, the situation has served its purpose. But for others of you, I want to say many of you, not only are you saying, I'm getting the fuck out of here, you're saying, I know exactly where I want to go, or I know exactly where I want to head, or I know exactly what it is I want to start manifesting. How it is I want to change my circumstance, my situation. So I will say, Gemini, that this situation served its purpose. Regardless as to how painful or rough it may have been. Speaking of which, let's talk about this Ten of Swords. Can you clarify the Ten of Swords for Gemini, please, Spirit? Clarify the Ten of Swords for Gemini. First card is Justice. This may be a tough pill to swallow, Gemini. But everything that you experienced in this situation was par for the course was directly in alignment with the beliefs that you held about yourself, that five of pentacles energy. On the flip side though, at the same time, justice is now able, greater justice is now able to be served in your life because you have finally pulled yourself out of that lack mentality. So now you can bring greater justice into your life. Now you can start to manifest things that are more in alignment with who you are is what I'm hearing. Who you are truly as a being, as a, as a spiritual being having this physical experience. Ten of Swords, please. Clarify the Ten of Swords for Gemini. The Hierophant. Tough lessons. Lessons having been learned. You had to get through this. For some of you, this was actually a soul contract. Something that your soul specifically intended to experience in order for you to learn a specific lesson. And with that being said, I want to say justice now feels like um, you passed, I want to say you passed with flying colors, okay? And in many cases, you passing is just you getting through it, but getting to the other side of it. But not only did you get through it, you got to the other side, you learned a very valuable lesson. You're taking 
a very valuable understanding with you. Okay. Ten of Swords. Clarify the Ten of Swords for Gemini, please. And the Fool. Look at that. You get to start a new chapter now. 100%. 100%. Overall energy is the Page of Pentacles. There you go. There's the new reality. There's the new chapter right there. This is... Um, okay, so... This is something, this is taking me to um, something that Dolores Cannon, I don't know if you guys are familiar with her. Um, her work is really interesting. She is no longer here on the planet with us. She has passed, she did pass uh, quite a few years ago, I believe, but um, she is not a channeler. She actually worked with uh, a form of hypnotism that she developed herself um, and started connecting with uh, the higher selves of people and, you know, and, and, and all kinds of stuff. Check out Dolores Cannon, okay? But one of the things that she mentions is that um, we come down here to experience really, we experience certain things. And it, it's that age old question of if there is a God, then why do we suffer so much? Well, according to Dolores Cannon's work and the channeling she was able to garner over her time, she did not directly channel it. She put people into hypnotism and they answered the questions while in a deep state of uh, hyp hypnosis. Um, again, check her out. But one of the answers, the main answer that came through for that is, we chose these experiences so that at, we ourselves, we write the scripts of our lives, and we chose these specific experiences to learn something. And the goal here, again, is to learn something. And if you come out of this situation and you ask yourself, what did I learn? And you were to sit there and say, well, I didn't learn anything. It was terrible. It was awful. I never want to do it again. Unfortunately, you're going to have to go back and do it again so that you do learn something next time. That is not what I'm feeling here for you, Gemini. What I'm feeling is that you absolutely have learned either the lesson, the big overall main lesson you were supposed to learn here, or you learned something. And it's as it is something that is of benefit to you, regardless as to whatever it whatever it is you've learned here, Gemini. You are graduating, you are moving on from that phase of your life, and now you're getting ready to start a whole new chapter. In some cases, you could say a whole new lesson, but don't get don't feel daunted by that or anything because, like you know, it. I mean, we're we're going to be learning things as long as we are in existence. I mean, that's the point. That's the goal. So don't worry about it. OK, we I will say it doesn't necessarily have to be as bad or as rough or tough as it was last time. According to the script that you've written for yourself. <laughs> but yes, completion. OK, you learn the lesson. You get to move on the fool. You get to start a new chapter. You get to take a leap of faith here. This is beautiful, Gemini. All right. Last thing I want to clarify for you is the Ten of Pentacles. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Gemini, please, spirit. Page of Swords in reverse. Okay. Spirit saying that's a good thing. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Gemini. Oh, yeah. See, it is a good thing. Six of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Overall energy. There, look, look, there you go. We're back to the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Really, all you needed to do was learn the lesson. Page of Swords in reverse. Okay. You learned this lesson. You learn the lesson in terms of what it is you were actually going to receive from this energy, from this situation, from what, what type of output you were going to receive should you continue to hold on to this five of pentacles energy or hold on to some sort of lacking, lack mentality type of situation, uh, feeling left out in the cold, woe is me. Now, I am picking up on that if this was a family situation, you needed to leave this family member or this group or this household or whatnot, whatever. You needed to. Take this as it resonates for you guys, okay? Ultimately, there was some sort of lesson that you needed to learn. And that lesson was in terms of the reciprocity or, I will say in this situation, lack thereof. And thus, you needed to walk away. And you did. Why? Why? Because you recognize that you weren't going to get anything different here until you changed the circumstances, until you changed your circumstances, until you changed the game, until you flipped the script, until you 
chose differently until you got yourself out of that situation. And you did. And that's beautiful. Closing Oracle Guidance is coming to you, Gemini, from the secret language of light. Oops. All right. Five shuffles here. Closing Oracle Guidance for my Gemini Peace Spirit. This is three. Closing Oracle Guidance for my Gemini's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Four. And five. Alrighty, Gemini. Closing Oracle Guidance for you. Ooh. We have two of them. Card number one, soul name, and card number 11, remembrance. Gemini, this was all about remembering who you are. As a spiritual being, having this physical experience. You may have dealt with a hell of a lot of gaslighting. You may have dealt with um, parental figures or authoritative figures that um, tried to beat a lot, of, maybe physically or just emotionally, verbally mentally tried to like really beat a sense of wonder or excitement or magic out of you you have card number one and card number 11 this is all about remembering who it is you are who it is you've been this whole time and what it is you're actually truly capable of okay All right, card number one, soul name. Unlock the mysteries of your soul. You are about to receive the name of your soul. Your soul name acts as a link between your inner and outer world, enabling you to merge authentic wisdom into your everyday experiences and create life from your heart. You placed your soul name in your heart before you were born. As you explore your inner world and open your heart, you will discover the name of your beautiful essence. You are ready to awaken your heart and know its absolute fullness. I'm sorry, you are ready to awaken. Oh, I'm sorry, I said that right. Okay, you are ready to awaken your heart and know its absolute fullness. You are safe to discover, connect, and receive. All your dreams and desires will be realized with an open heart. Ask for and be open to receiving the name of your soul. It may arrive in a way you don't expect, but when it comes, you will know it is authentic by the way it feels. Liberate your heart and soul. You are worth it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, and finally, we have card number 11. <laughs> Remembrance. Recall your soul truth. You are ready to live your life from the wisdom of your heart. You may have been citing 1111 as a reflection of this. If not, you can expect to be receiving this sign soon. You may see it on a clock, a phone number, a receipt, or in a dream. With this wisdom, fresh and innovative ideas will flow into your mind as new ways to live your life. No one else has to change their ways, only you. Live from your heart and be, be inspired and discover a new world. Some call 1111 an awakening code. You must have awoken on some level to receive it. It is a sign that you are much more that you are much more than you think you are. 1111 has many different explanations because we are all asking different questions. There is no right or wrong meaning, but at the heart of 1111 is a loving, intelligent energy 
that will always encourage you towards your soul where you will remember the truth of you. Wow. So there you have it, Gemini. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I truly hope this was helpful for you. I am sending you all so much love. If you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where you will find a list of the readings that I offer, including my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The links to those can be found in the description box below as well. And if you would like some extra content with me throughout the month that does not appear here on YouTube, and also if you would like to donate and to the channel and support the channel, Follow us, join the Unicorn Herd on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can also be found in the description box below. Uh, you get extra monthly content with me. And depending on which tier you sign up for, you could either get a 10 or 20% discount on your personal readings, or you could get one personal reading with me in per month with your subscription. Check us out, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link can be found in the description box below. I love you all so very much. I hope you have a fantastic day and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.